What's up guys? Back here Archage Unchained and let's talk about casual play and how to stay competitive in this game and you know not burn out. Uh, let's talk about that because I know a lot of people were discouraged saying 2,000 gold in my inventory last uh, last video I did about gemming and that's actually not even a lot of gold guys like it is very, very discouraging for people that don't have any gold whatsoever, like 10, 5, 15 gold to see someone have 2,000. But honestly, that is not a lot of gold. The guys that are higher up on the leaderboards in the rankings and such, so it's like 7,000 points on their equipment score, they've probably spent 15 to 20,000 gold making their gear better and improving themselves. My measly little 2,000 gold is, is, is nothing. Is, is nothing, guys. So let's talk about casually playing. If you're playing, you know, two to five hours a day, we're going to call that casual. So two to five hours a day. If that's the time that you got to play Arc Age and you want to play Arc Age, there's going to be some things that you're going to want to do. Let's talk about those first. First up, you're going to want to check the in-game time to see if Crimson Rift or Grimson Rift is available. Crimson Rift starts at 12 noon in-game time, and the Crimson Rift is at 24, you know, so midnight. So 12 and 24. You're going to want to do those every single time available that you can, once a day. You're going to have daily quests that say, you know, complete these, do these. There will be raids that will pop up in Nation Chat and be like, hey, doing CR, hey, doing GR, uh, or pull up the raid info. So, shift R, and then recruitments. See all the raids that are going on right now? You're going to want to jump into raids. You don't want to play this game solo. You need to get into a guild. You need to get into a guild that is active. That is the number one thing that you need to do. You need to be in an active guild. If you are playing two to five hours, it doesn't matter. If you're active during those two to five hours, the guild should like you, should allow you to play. You know, no big deal. But get into a guild, make sure the guild is actually doing things together because you can earn a lot of money, but you need to be in groups, you need to be in raids, you need to be utilizing raids groups to maximize the amount of things that you can do with the limited amount of playtime that you have. If Crimson Rift and Grimson Rift are, or Grimsgaff Rift or whatever it's called is not available, the next thing that you want to do is you want to make sure that you're 55, obviously, so... Get to 55 first. If you're not 55, you need to get to 55. Get to 45. 45 is the magic number. And then once you're at 45, you head up to Aegis Island. You join a party. So just shout, looking for group, or solo farm, and fight up here. You can solo farm. Any class can solo farm with a pet. Make sure that you got the battle pet that is around your starting areas. So for Harani, for example... The battle pet is over here in Villanelle, all the way down at Wands Ranch. Make sure that you pick up the battle pet. Battle pet will just carry you. You'll be able to play in solo mobs, ancestral mobs by yourself with the battle pet. Set it on auto. Let the battle pet get aggro first and then, you know, spaz out your combos. After your 55, you do want to try and get into these daily raids. If you play during or around the daily reset period. Daily reset period is now 4 p.m. Pacific Standard Time for me. So as you can see, raids are already filling up. We are practically full. We've got one full raid already. We have the second raid going. And we're still 20 minutes away before the actual reset time. These raids fill up quick. They fill up early. So if you're playing around this time, you want to make sure that you get into these raids. If you miss them, it's not a big deal. There should be other raids around, and it's not the end of the world. These are for more in-game content, in-game gearing. If you only have, again, that two to five hours to play a day, you're not going to need these daily raids that much because you won't have the gold, you won't have the materials to actually use this stuff. Next up, the big thing is that you want to actually use all of your labor. If you can, you want to open up coin purses coin purses will have a decent amount of gold for a small amount of effort you want to store as many coin purses as you possibly can in your bank your warehouse here you want to open them up when you have labor to burn 
you're going to use that to get gold. This is for casual players. If you have more time to invest in the game, you'll be able to do things like fishing and fishing raids. Fishing raids is a great thing, but it takes more time, more energy, and more effort. Coin purses are something that you'll be getting by basic farming. When you're in these raids and these parties, you want to make sure that you roll on everything. When you're there, always just click the button that says, you know, automatically roll on everything. Because you want to win these coin purses, you want to win these items that other people don't care about. A lot of times people don't care about coin purses. So you can earn these things very, very easily. Next up is arena. Click over here on the instance tab. You want to do arenas. You want to do the free-for-all arena once you hit level 55. You want to do this twice a day. Oh, shit. Ah, I didn't do my two dailies. Uh, the reason you want to do this is because you get a massive amount of rewards, even if you get last place. This arena starts with minimum of six players, which means you would get 26 tokens for getting six place. It takes 15 minutes. It's a lot of fun, even if you suck at PvP like I do. There's some PvE enemies in here. You can go get points that way. And it's just a good time. It's equalized, so the gear is balanced. It's, uh, yeah, it's just a blast. Go in here, do these. The reason you want to do these is it's a lot of tokens. Arena Shop. If you only have a few hours to play, again, you know, two to five, uh, we're talking about a day, you're probably going to be spending your arena tokens to make money. You go in here, you do this, do this twice a day, so that's 30 minutes. You're going to get approximately 50 tokens, maybe a little more, maybe a little less. You can buy a whole bunch of combat scrolls. You can sell these. You can buy Goblet of Honor. You can sell these. So if you get 50 tokens a day and you sell these, you get approximately 18 of these items to sell. Each of these items is around approximately one gold that means you're gonna make 18 gold for doing arenas for just having some fun fighting in pvp no big deal that's a pretty decent gold for doing absolutely no labor required if you are one of the people that has land you're definitely going to want to make sure that you burn your labor on tax certs so that you don't cap your labor because if you're only playing two to five hours a day you're going to cap your labor and you don't want that so make tax certs if you are, again, a casual player, two to five hours, you generally don't even want to own land. Land is not going to be worthwhile for you, but if you have nothing else, if you're just sitting on extra labor, yeah, there you go. Burn your labor on tax certs. But you're going to want to generally be spending your labor on opening up coin purses so you can get some coins. If you have more time, do fishing. You don't want to do trading. Trading with trade packs is going to eat up your entire play time, and it's not going to be worthwhile. You're going to make five gold for 30 minutes or whatever. It's it's garbage. Do not do trade packs and trading. Grinding mobs, doing quests, doing daily quests is the idea of what you're going to be trying to do. If you can't find a raid for like the daily Haram quest at level 55, just simply make your own. It's very, very simple, guys. Shift R, bring up raid. Click on the raid recruit. Click recruit. It will ask you what you're trying to do. I'm trying to make a raid. I'm trying to recruit an army because, sure, why not? I want there to be max of 50 players. You can set the minimum level. Be like, okay, minimum level 55 or 50 or whatever you want it to be. Uh, you can put a little information in here if you want. And then you hit register. That's going to register it on the recruit board. So you'll see it here. You do need to advertise this. So in order to get people to join your raids, you're going to have to spam nation chat. So go into the chat, slash n to get to nation. Now while your cursor is highlighted there, you're going to want to shift left click on your raid. Doing that will put in a raid recruitment menu right here in the chat bar and you can send it off. So that's the recruitment that you see in chat a lot of times where people are like, hey, reset raid, join raid. You'll see the little icons right here. See, raid, recruit, any. That's how you get that symbol in there. Shift, left click on your recruitment. It doesn't matter if you get five, 
two, three people. Any amount of people is going to help you grind and earn out those daily quests. And so you should be working on the Haram daily quests using battle pets. If you're solo, do the easier ones. Do the Ecolox and Sun Gold. Do these ones. And then you slowly move over to the little harder ones. So Reed Wind, I believe, is the easier of the ones in here. And then you're going to have to have a bigger party to do these ones. Those are the most important things that you should probably be doing. And again, while you're doing this, make sure that you always roll on the coin purses. You're going to want to open those coin purses. Yes, fishing is better than coin purses. Fishing is great. Fishing is awesome. But it takes more time. If you are limited on time again, this is what you're going to want to do. This will hit all the bases. You're going to make gold. You're going to get stronger. You're going to level up your character. You're going to gain ancestral levels. You're going to gain coin purses in the meantime. You're going to gain scrolls, Haram scrolls, and infusions. You're going to gain all these things by simply doing a couple daily quests. Crimson Rift and Grimsraff Rift will also give you Haram scrolls. Again, very important. Those are the main things. Try and do those things every single day. It doesn't matter if you miss things too. So don't feel bad about it. The biggest thing that you want to do after getting to 55 is getting your gear score up to 4,000. And you see, I have a lot of gold, but my gear score is barely over 4,000. It's 4,213. This is my main account. This is the account I use the most, I play with the most. I barely got to 4,000 gear score. 4,000 gear score will take you a little while to get to if you are casually playing. Part of the way to help you get there is by going to the auction house and buying these Luna Drops. So you're going to go over here to the Luna Stone. Click on this tab. Click Search. This will bring up Luna Drops. You can generally find them pretty cheap. Right now there's not much on the auction house. I bought these guys for one gold each. The stats aren't like perfect. They're not ideal. It's got intelligence. I'm a mage. Intelligence is good. Stamina? Stamina is okay. It's more HP. More regeneration or something like that. I don't know. Not even familiar with stamina really. But decent. It only costs me one gold each. This, improving your gear will not cost any labor, and it's going to improve your gear score. So we have 4, 2, 1, 3. We're going to go ahead and take off one of our pieces of gear that doesn't have a Luna Drop on it already. They might already all have them, though. Yep, so it looks like they all have them already. And you'll notice that that's right below their basic physical defense, magic defense. So adding those Luna Drops to your gear increases your gear score. Once you get your gear score to 4,000, you're going to unlock some new content. You're going to unlock the Golden Plains Battle. And you want to do this every single day if you can. But unfortunately, the Golden Plains Battle, or Halsey, is only available at two times a day for about an hour and a half. The reason you want to do this is you'll get a lot of infusions. You'll get a lot of honor points. And you'll also get a labor recharge. Unfortunately for North America, this has not worked since the release of the game. It sucks. EU players can do this. They can get a thousand labor. They can get all those other rewards. Like, yeah. The next thing that you're going to want to do is the fall of Haram City. This one, again, 4,000 equipment points. 
will get you some nice rewards. I've un I've been unable to actually get a group to do this because again, it requires certain time periods and it may not even work on North America either. So you want to do these. And then the last one is Norietti Challenge. 4,000 gear points. And this is where you're going to get some accessories. Everyone is going to suck. You're going to get to level 5 and die at level 5. That's just how it's going to go for the first month or so of doing this. You get one entry a day, but it's fine. No big deal. Do it. You'll get some um, you know, experience. You'll learn the, the mission. And maybe you'll get lucky and get some really nice accessories. You'll eventually get better and stronger. And you'll be able to go further in these challenges and do more. But those are the goals that you want to aim for. 4,000 gear score. So you can do these three different contents. The cool thing about the Noriata Challenge is you can do it any time of the day. There is no time period lockout of this. One time a day, go in there, do your challenge. It doesn't matter if you die right away. It's no big deal. All right, guys. Hopefully that helps you guys. I will talk to you guys later. Thanks for watching.